Problem 3.6 asks simply to calculate the theoretical density of several different materials with certain givens. In this case, we're just going to approach the magnesium atom, the magnesium structure. First off, it has a given that it has a hexagonal close packed structure. Also, its um, atomic mass is 24.3 grams per mole. And also, for its structure, the a C to A ratio of 1.624. Address that in a little bit. The hexagonal close pack structure looks something like this. You got a hexagon on top, another one on the bottom, and then it's extruded, if you will, through a prism. The hexagons are characterized by a single distance A and the height by a distance C, hence the C to A ratio of 1.624. Now to calculate the volume of this cell, we can break this up into six identical triangles, or in fact, 12 identical right triangles. In this case, this triangle has sides A over 2, A, and a over 2 times the square root of 3. The area of this is the base times the height divided by 2. A squared, square root of 3, all over A. Now we have 12 of these triangles, so the total area is 12 A squared, square root of 3, over 8. Do some cancellations. And we end up with a squared, 3 square root of 3 over 2. To get the volume, finally, of the cell, we take that area and multiply it by the length. So we have A squared C times 3 square root of 3 over 2. But we have a given C to A ratio of 1.624. So that means that C equals 1.624A. So in terms of just A, our cell volume is A squared times 1.624A times 3 times the square root of 3 all over 2. This gives us 4.22 a cubed for hexagonal close packed we have an atom here that is in contact with this atom here so this distance a 
equals 2 times the radius. So we have 4.22 times 2r cubed. We can look up the radius. Radius is 0 0.160 nanometers. Putting all that together, we end up with 0 0.138 cubic nanometers per cell. That's the volume. Now that we have the volume of the cell, that's the tough part. We have the atomic mass. We have Avogadro's number. The last thing we need is the number of atoms within the cell. The hexagonal close pack doesn't just have a cell of atoms on the top face or the bottom face. There are also three fully enclosed within the cell structure. So, we have one on top and one on bottom. Each of those have one cut, rendering the half. So we have n equals two halves, plus we have one on each of 12 corners, six on the top, six on the bottom. And each of those is cut in one sixth. Six of them are in each cell. Then there's the three additional that are fully enclosed. One plus two plus three, n equals six. So we have n here. Completing the calculation, we get a density of 1.76. per cubic centimeter. Again, key is recognizing how a hexagonal close pack structure is set up for its geometry, calculating the volume, knowing how to apply the C to A ratio, and also knowing to, uh, how to add up the number of atoms that are in that cell.